Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. First of all, I want to apologize for yesterday. I thought I was getting my daily devotion up after Monday morning calls of love, and um, it didn't happen. And and I do apologize for that. After I got off live, I just got so busy with the kids that um, I didn't get my devotion up, and I do apologize for that. But today we're talking about praise. And Jesus says his words, Enter my gates with thanksgiving and my courts with praise. A thankful heart is a joyful heart, and this is what I want for you. When you neglect the sacrifices of thanksgiving, your soul suffers. Many of my children who live in impoverished nations are more joyful than Christians in rich countries with material abundance. Even the great blessings can fail to bring joy unless they are received with gratitude. I am training you to thank me, not only for the obvious blessings, but also for situations you would never have chosen. A wayward child or spouse, loss of health, home, or employment. This is counterintuitive thankfulness, and it is possible only to the extent that you trust me at a deep level. It is also a matter of self-discipline. Willing yourself to thank me even when your circumstances are screaming at you to find a way out. Though it is wise to look for ways to improve your situation, you cannot force my hand or my timing. Just keep coming into my presence with thanksgiving. Your persistent thankfulness may actually provide the long awaited key I will use to unlock major difficulties in your life. Giving thanks to me can open doors in ways that transcend your understanding. And it is true, it is so hard sometimes to be thankful in all situations and circumstances, especially those that are so tough to handle and we're not sure how we're going to handle them. But we need to have a trust, a trust on a very deep level that we know that God has our backs and He knows what's best for us. So our um, devotion comes from these scriptures today. Psalms 104 through 5. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all the generations. And then Psalms 107, 21 and 22. Oh, that man would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. And then John sixteen twenty two, You now have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart will rejoice, and your joy no one will take from you. And that is true. No one can take your joy. Only you can allow Satan to grab your joy from you. And it's not always easy to keep from doing that. I know that firsthand. But I also know that God loves us. And he does what's best for us if we allow him to. For he's not going to force himself on you because that's not the God he is. He's a God that created you, loved you, sent his son to die for you. But he also gave you free will. Free will to choose how you believe, what you believe, and how you receive him. So just know that God is there for you when you need him. He's there for you all the time. But it's up to you to reach out to Him. Thank you, my friends, for joining me for this daily devotion. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Um, God bless. Bye-bye.